the Holy Family Food Pantry has been around for a little over 20 years. I have many stories of families that come through the food pantry and um, the stories are, are just overwhelming at times. I was basically down on my luck. I couldn't work. I was pregnant at the time and um, I had two other girls besides that, so I started coming to the pantry, but I was very hesitant. Basically because of pride, I wanted to do everything on my own. I didn't think I needed help from anywhere else. It cost me about 85 grand to fight for custody of my children. Whatever was coming out of you know, my job, I had to pay lawyers. Of course, it was not very easy because uh, there was no money there but uh, I had to fight. I had to fight to get custody, sole custody of the children. Um, that's why I end up almost in the street. I had a fall and cracked a rib and did something to my knee, besides a lot of arthritis. And that did force me to give up my job because I couldn't stand there and take care of the customers the way I should have. A lot of money, the medicine. $200, hundred dollars $25. They lost everything, the hours, everything. No one knows what kind of a situation they'll be in in the future. You have no idea who's going to come through that door. I have had people that have been on the giving side, now are on the receiving side. The partnership that we have with Feeding America and the Northern Illinois Food Bank is very important to our food pantry. It lets donors know that they can trust our organization, that their dollars are going to go very far. We can purchase a lot of food because of the partnerships that we have. For me to tell the children, we don't have food, to explain to them, you know, why don't we have food everybody else does? It hurts still. It's very difficult, it's very, very hard. There are definitely people from affluent communities that are struggling that need to have food also. And that, to me, is the most dramatic change that I've seen over my experience here at the food pantry. Well, we've had a lot of bad luck in the last five years. Lots of it. My husband made good money. He had two car accidents, neither one his fault, totaled his truck. Had to have 23 teeth pulled, diabetes, quadruple heart bypass. His medication is, he takes nine in the morning and eight at night. Three of them cost $111 a month. The only thing we've been able to keep current is our house payment. In the last year, we've seen a lot of new families, new faces coming in, people that had no idea what a food pantry was. They eventually used up all the resources that they had, used up credit cards, uh, and then they reached out to someone who eventually directed them to the food pantries. Uh, it's really hard for them to come in. They're not used to that. They're not, they don't feel that they are that statistic. I went through some hard times, and um, I thought I could tough things out myself and things got worse and worse and worse. So finally, I had foreclosure papers served on me. And I think a lot of people now that go through foreclosure or lose their jobs, they don't know a place like this exists. The number of new families that keep coming into our pantry are tremendously high. We have about 240 families that we serve a week. And of those numbers, we have about 40 to 50 new families a week. I was in the hospital for like two weeks because um, I couldn't breathe. And I had to go to the hospital so they could incubate me. Well, incubate is like put tubes down your throat and open up your lungs. And when I came back home, somebody had broken into my house, busted off my windows, took my kitchen sink, everything. So that's why I'm here now because my kids probably won't have anything to eat. They Probably wouldn't have any clothes to go to school, uh, anything. Our budget doesn't last as long as it used to. Our shelves are not stocked the way they used to all the time. Um, we just can't keep them stocked. Most of the food that we get is from the Northern Illinois Food Bank. And I'd say about 90% of what we get is from the Northern Illinois Food Bank. And obviously serving the needs of the clients that come in would really suffer if we didn't have that. It's a lot of people that are out here that really, really need help. And the food pantry is important because you might be good today and no telling what situation you might be in tomorrow. You might have a refrigerator full of food today and tomorrow you might not have anything.
I have a son, his name is Dylan, and he's going to be three months uh, the fourth of this month. It's a hard time. My boyfriend is in employment right now, and it's hard to buy food. But they, they're so nice. They helped me a lot. They gave us food. They hit me with my baby. Seeing a smile or someone coming up and giving me a hug and say thank you, you know, you helped me, or just get a success story. And there are success stories in the pantry. It really is um, heartwarming when you see families come back that you've helped and now there are donors. That's really, really nice. They, they, they actually tell you how much of a difference you made in their life and you think, oh, I'm just giving them a box of food. Um, but sometimes it, it, it really is the only thing that they need to keep them going. They gave so much and I wanted to give back to the community too and let others know that there was a place where they could go. To continue to stay here and grow and feed more families, we need to continue to receive support from um, agencies. We need to continue to work closely with Northern Illinois and Feeding America. Everything, it seems like, is, is coming around. And this place is, is a lot of help. The food pantry really has me, um, helped me get up on my feet. We're survivors, we're gonna make it, you know, with the help of the food bank.